come fall, the 11-acre area surrounding the Warriors' new home will be named Thrive City, with Warriors and Kaiser leadership calling it a community gathering space where there will be health programs and a farmer's market. But some Kaiser caregivers say the nearly $300 million that Kaiser plans to invest in Thrive City should actually be going to patient care. My patients aren't thriving. Clinical psychologist Mickey Fitzpatrick has been working for Kaiser for nearly eight years. He says the healthcare company's mental health clinics are understaffed and under resourced. My patients have to wait six weeks before I can offer them another appointment to come in to see me. Cron 4 obtained documents through the National Union of Healthcare Workers showing that during a finance meeting in December 2016, Kaiser voted on a partnership plan with the Warriors for an amount not to exceed $295 million. This, coupled with the company's new $900 million corporate headquarters planned for Oakland, has the union frustrated. Both those uh, things uh, seem like a, a really inappropriate um, and regrettable and insulting way to spend our patients, you know, dollars. Requests for comment from Kaiser were not returned Sunday. Fitzpatrick says the union has brought these issues to them before, but he feels the health care company is more concerned with its public image than the care it's actually providing. They're willing to spend hundreds of millions, uh, if not well over a billion dollars in, 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 in an office space and a sports naming rights. Uh, shows that their priorities are misplaced and their values are misaligned with the community that they um, say they're trying to serve. In San Francisco, Noel Bello, Cron 4 News.